<laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes. This does look familiar. Clear. I need to pass. Yeah. You've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Move already. Damn it. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pulp heap. Ah, uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. Listen, I never get involved in this kind of thing. What can I do for you? Yeah! 
Morning, sir. See no more of you. Good ahead. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? All right. Head on over when you're ready. Could I offer some assistance? Sure, why not? Great, now I just sit back and relax. You let me know if the water gets cold. You'll be clean as a whistle. So how's it going? I'm good, thank you. I don't half gossip around here. The more you get to know this place, Sorry for smell. It's been a while. Oh, you. You seem like a clever girl. Oh, I ain't nothing special, please. So you married? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Past few months have probably been the toughest of my life. Goodness, that's quite a thing. I'm so sorry. Well, anyway, I'll shut up now. Don't you worry about a thing. You're so kind. Mm. You seem so tense, darling. You should really relax. I sure hope I see you again. You look fine up. Feeling fresh, I hope? Got any rooms? Rooms ready whenever you need.
Thank you. Really. Hello. Hello. Haven't seen you around. Please, look around. I know it's a lot, but I really do have everything you need. Food throughout the shop, fishing bait next to the counter, and, most importantly, liquor to the right of the counter. Well, let's see. Greetings, amigo. Just relaxing, or is that how you spend your day? What's it to you? I'm taking a break. Apparently, those Blackwater robbers are still on the loose. They got that whole town on lockdown. Mister? Hey there. Hey, we're watching you. We'll be starting up with you again. How do you do? Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Is that right? Yes, sir. Hello there. Howdy. can be saved if you want by uh hmm, what what was it again yeah yes that's it by saving yourself you can be saved by saving yourself i want to talk to you today about the great miracle of holy passion. Yes, passion. Passion uh, is what drives us all. It is what drives me. It drives me to serve you, to bring you the great news. The great news that you are saved today. If only you will follow me, and do as I say, so we can spend eternity together. Not cause no more shit around here. That's the feller. Mean bastard. That's 
so. Hello. Welcome back. It's an old book. Careful with the pages. All right. Uh-huh. Sure. Keep browsing. Hey. Welcome back. Ah, you ugly bastard. You're getting old. Old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you. Why don't you take your problems elsewhere? Come on now, get moving, will you? Yep. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff.
Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good force in it. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you. Get the hell out of here! I got some unfinished business! Trust me, Morgan! Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind! Let's get out of here! Keep looking! Goddamn maniac! I should have left you to hang! We're in it now, Morgan! What do you want to do? We should be long gone by now. They got something of mine I ain't leaving without. Who? Damn it. Shit, more of the bastards. Yep, I see him. Who else wants to step up? Come on. Oh, he's gonna get it good. Let's go. Where are we going? Making a house call. Ah, ah, there's more ah, these morons. Ah. Ah. Get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see some. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny! It ain't skinny, 
Like I, it's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. What are you building? Stop ah! it! What's that man dead? To you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. 
I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Yeah. No damn time.
Let's go, girl. Good morning, Arthur. It's Arthur. Hope you made some money. What you that is what I like to see. Dandy, how are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. Who no. waits? The boys around me. They're good boys, mostly. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine's. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? 
People living here. A large house. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow, and I got an idea. Follow me. Trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Stay low, Arthur. What are you doing? Get down. Just stay quiet. Damn it, if we get caught, it's Where on you. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can hardly get caught an all day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Y'all, no, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see.
see any more of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the dash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there. Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
Here we go. Let's go, girl. Yep. Come on, girl.
partner. 